In this video, I'm going to show you what is a subform and also why I think subform is so necessary for most systems out there. I'm a huge fan of subforms. And the main reason is, is that when you have a record such as this one, and this is the deals module, you can have inside the deals modules a table with more information. As an example, here I can have the information about the estimate that I am creating. In this case, I also have a button to really create the estimate and send it to my client because I'm lazy, right? But the idea is that you can have a table that will have this information. One more thing that I do like about it, and let me click on edit so I can add more items, is that when you're going and adding more records, now those products are a lookup to this subform, which means whenever I will click on one of those products, it will inherit information from the product modules automatically. So if I will click on the silver package, for example, you can see that the price came from the products module. The description also came from that products module. And all I need to do is just click on one of the quantities and then the price will be calculated for me. Now, one more thing that Zoho added uh, to the subforms, which is very cool, they added the ability to add users to the subform. Now, I will show you why I think it's very cool. So let's go to edit the subform. And here, if you will click on add field, you will see that there is a new field that was added last month, and that's the user field. Now, the reason that I think that this is cool is that whenever you're going to work on a record, and let me just go back to the record that I worked on, and we'll click on edit, you can also have here, you can have the salesperson or the person that is in charge of this specific item or someone that's supposed to deliver it or maybe you work on a big deal that you will have multiple users. So I think that by adding the user field, it's opening the subform to tons of different automations that were not possible before. So it's very cool. So bottom line, subform would be a table that you can add to any module in CRM. The subforms in CRM are limited to 100 rows. If you have more than that, uh, you can also go with a related module. For example, we have a client now that uh, we need to create an estimate for him, but he will have more than 100 products for one opportunity. So we are going basically with the products. So he can click here, he can assign hundreds of products. And from that, when he will click on create estimate, we're pulling from the related module.